Okay, so now we have 30 examples of forces and uh, what we've got to do is calculate the resultant force and describe the resulting motion of each of these cases. Now, each car has got two forces acting on them and the engine force and air resistance. All of the cars are moving forwards. Uh, so let's take the first case. We've got a we've got a, a forward engine force of 2,000 newtons, and we've got a backwards air resistance force of 800. So what we've got to do here is we've got to add up these forces. So we've got 2,000. Oops, wrong color. We've got 2,000 newtons. That's acting to the right. So if we say that everything acting to the right is positive, so everything acting to the left will be negative. So everything this way will be negative, everything this way is going to be positive. And so now let's add them up. 2000 minus 800 and we're going to get 1200 newtons. Remember that forces are vectors, we must state the direction. I gave you a little hint uh, down here, the direction in your descriptions. So the first case we've got 1,200 newtons resultant force, resultant force to the right. Now this means if you have a resultant force, you are going to have acceleration. Remember forces do three things. They can accelerate, change the direction, or deform. Uh, and uh, we usually talk about acceleration as the effects of forces. So accelerating accelerating to the right so forwards okay let's take let's take a uh, an idea now of the let's take a look at the second case now in this case here we've got 800 newtons to the right and we've got 800 newtons to the left so they're balanced they're balanced in the second case uh, that means the resultant force so we've got balanced forces that means the resultant force well is going to be zero Resultant equals zero because 800 minus 800 is zero. So that means we're not going to be accelerating. So no acceleration, no acceleration, but we therefore are moving at a constant, a constant speed. Yes. And let's take a, a look then at the, the last case where we've got the car which has now got a forwards engine force of 100. It's, it's the engine is uh, perhaps idling, uh, haven't got the, the foot on the, on the pedal, and we've got an air resistance force of 800 because this car is moving forwards. The air resistance is still there, but perhaps the engine has just, just uh, lost power. So now again we have 100 minus 800 to the left, and that's going to be minus 700. So this means 700 newtons that we have got a resultant force acting to the left of 700, 700 newtons. So therefore we're going to be, what are we going to be doing? Are we going to be constant speed? No, because we have a resultant force. Are we going to be accelerating forwards? No, because the resultant force is acting backwards. So therefore we are slowing down. We are decelerating. Decelerating. So we can read that decelerating, slowing down. Hope that helps you get the idea of resultant forces and their effects.